This is part 85 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss jQuery menu widget. To get this simple jQuery menu widget on your web page, there are two simple steps. The first step is to create an HTML structure with strict parent-child relationship. You can use any HTML element for that purpose. The most commonly used HTML element is the unordered list. So if you look at this jQuery menu, at the top, we have got four country names, USA, India, UK, and Australia. So to get that, we have an unordered list with ID equals menu. And notice this unordered list has got four list items at the top, USA, India, UK, and Australia. And if you look at USA list item, it has got another unordered list as a child. And that unordered list has got two list items, Virginia and Maryland. So those are the children of this list item USA. Similarly, list item India has got three children, AP, MP, and Karnataka, the states within India. And if you look at Karnataka state, it has got three list items as its children, the cities within Karnataka state. And if you look at list item UK and Australia, they don't have any children. Okay, so here we have an HTML structure with parent-child relationship. So that's the first step. The second step is to write this one line of jQuery code. So what are we doing here? We are finding this menu item, I mean the unordered list item, using its ID. So we are using the jQuery ID selector, finding that unordered list, the topmost unordered list element. And on that, we're calling the jQuery UI menu function. So with this HTML and this one line of jQuery code, we will get this jQuery menu. So let's look at this in action. I've already typed all this HTML on the web form, so let's flip to Visual Studio. So here is the same HTML that we have seen on the slide. At the moment, within the ready function, I'm not calling the jQuery UI menu function. So if we view this page in the browser, this is how it looks like. So by default, this is how an unordered list will be rendered by the browser. Now let's turn this unordered list into a jQuery menu by using the jQuery UI menu function. So let us go ahead and find the unordered list element. So I'm using the jQuery ID selector. The ID of the outermost unordered list element is menu. On that, let's go ahead and call jQuery UI menu function. Let's save our changes. Look at this. When we reload this, this unordered list will be transformed into a jQuery menu. So let's reload this. And look at this. We get the jQuery menu. But then by default, look at this. The width of this jQuery menu is spanning across the entire width of the web form. Now let's see how to control the width of this menu. There are several ways we can do that. One of the easiest ways is by modifying the CSS class that's applied by jQuery to this menu. So to see what are the classes that are applied to this menu, um, you can launch browser developer tools by pressing F12. So we want to find the menu. So within the body section, there is a form section. So if we expand that, so there is a div element, a hidden div element, which will be generated by ASP.NET. And then we have the unordered list element, which is actually creating this menu for us. And look at the ID, it's menu. And look at the classes that are applied, the CSS classes. We have UI-menu, UI-widget, etc. Now let's go ahead and modify you know, the properties using this style class, UI-menu. So I'm going to include this class on my web page. So let's go ahead and include a style section here. And the name of the class is UI-menu. And I'm going to override some of the properties. For example, let's say I want to set width to maybe 150 pixels. OK, so I'm going to set that and save our changes. Let's reload our page. And now look at this. The width of this menu is now 150 pixels. And we now hover the mouse over USA. We get the two states within that. Similarly, we have got three states within India. And Karnataka state has got three countries, whereas UK and Australia, they don't have any children. OK, now for some reason, if you want to disable some of the list items here, you can do that as well by applying classes. So for example, here within the example right here, we are disabling MP state. OK, and the way we are doing it is by applying this class to that list item, UI-state-disabled. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's say, for example, we want to disable this list item. So I'm going to apply that CSS class. So 
class equals UI hyphen state hyphen disable. So let's save our changes. At the moment, notice that all of the list items are enabled. Let's reload this page and look at the state MP. It's this disabled, so we cannot really select that. Now, one way to control the width is by modifying the properties of the CSS class that's applied by jQuery to our list items. Another way you can control the width of the menu widget is by placing it as a child element in another parent element and then setting the width of that parent element. So let's go ahead and comment or remove this style class from here. Save our changes. And when we reload this, we should be back to what it was. Look at this, the width of the menu is spanning across the width of the web form. Another way to control the width is by including maybe another div element on our page. So this is going to be the parent for this unordered list element. So I'm actually going to cut this entire HTML and paste that within that div element. And then on this div element, I'm going to set the style attribute. Style equals width colon 150 pixels. So let's save our changes, reload this page, and look at this, the width of the menu is now 150 pixels. You can add an icon to a menu item by applying class names. And for the list of uh, all icons provided by jQuery UI, visit this URL. Now if you look at this menu right here, notice that there are no icons associated with any of the list items. For some reason, if you want to associate icons, there are several icons provided by jQuery UI, and you can see that complete list here, you know, at this URL. So there are loads of icons available. Okay, now, for example, let's go ahead and associate maybe this flag icon with one of the country names. Okay, let's associate it with USA. Okay, at the moment, we don't have any icons, okay? And to do that, all we are doing here is including a span element and applying the CSS class. Class equals UI-icon and the name of the image, UI-icon-flag. So if you look at the flag icon here, that's the name, UI-icon-flag. So let's copy that name. Let's go ahead and modify our HTML. So here we have got the list item USA. So I'm going to include a span element here. And then I'm going to set the class UI-icon. So that's one of the classes. And then UI-icon-flag. Okay. So let's go ahead and save our changes. Reload our page. And look at that. Against the country USA, we've got a flag. Now, to associate a different icon to a submenu, use icons option. Now, if you look at the submenu, you know, we've got right, you know, angular bracket there. Okay, so that's what, when you point over that, we know that that indicates that there is a submenu under USA and India. Now, if you want to associate a different icon for the submenu, then again, you can do that by using the icons option and then specifying the name of the icon. Okay, so we are using the icons option and then we are using a JavaScript object and then we are setting this property submenu to the icon that we are interested in. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So within our jQuery ready function, we are calling the menu function. So let's use a JavaScript object and specify the options that we are interested in. So I'm going to use the icons option and I'm going to use another JavaScript object here and specify submenu and let's go ahead and choose an icon. So let's visit this URL and here we can find all the images. So let's go ahead and use this icon right here, a right arrow. So let's copy that and specify it here. Save our changes reload this page. Now look at this, the image is replaced. And to disable the menu, you can set the disabled option to true. So at the moment, the menu is active. So if you want to disable that, we can use the disabled option. 
So let's go ahead and set that to true, save our changes, reload this page, and look at that, the menu is disabled. Nothing happens when you hover over the menu items. To get the selected menu item text, use the select event. So let's go ahead and enable this, and I'm going to set disable to false. And whenever we select, let's reload this page. Whenever we select a menu item, we want that selected item text. Okay, for that, we are going to use the select event. So whenever you select an item from the menu, select event is raised. So we are going to handle that. So this is the function that gets called when we select a menu item. And to this function, there are two parameters, the event object itself and the jQuery UI element that triggered this event. Okay, so what do we want? We want the selected items text. Let's alert that using JavaScript alert function. So we have the UI dot item dot on that I'm going to call the jQuery text function. So let's go ahead and reload this. And look at this, when we select UK, so we get the text of that. Similarly, when we go to India, Karnataka, Mangalore, we get the selected item text. Thank you for listening and have a great day.